Have you ever tried delegating something in your business only to have it not go as planned and it leaves you wondering, where was the breakdown in communication? I thought I was so clear. Why did I not get the results that I was expecting? The answer is probably that you missed one of the critical steps to delegation. There's actually four steps and I'm going to share them with you. The way most business owners delegate is that if they have perhaps a new employee that they're training, they show them how to do a task and then they let that person do the job. And that's a good start, but there's a fine line between delegating and abdicating, which is when you kind of pass it off and there's not much accountability or follow through until there's a mistake. So here's the four steps to properly and safely delegating. The first step is to have them shadow you, but with a process for reference. So either you have a system, you have a checklist, you have a how-to guide, and at a minimum, the person that you're training could be documenting it as you go. That's a good level one system. Now the second step is what most business owners miss because it takes a little extra time. So after they shadow you a couple of times, you've answered their questions, now step two is you shadow them. And you're the fly on the wall. You watch them do it. And then you're available to answer their questions or to make any corrections. And you'll be surprised with how much you thought you communicated or you thought they understood that when they go to do it hands-on that they are maybe actually were some gaps in the learning. Step three is now the employee is doing some things on their own and they're even making decisions or recommendations on their own, but they're running it by you before they actually take the final action, before the final decision has been put into play. And then the highest level of delegation is when the, the team member can actually make the decisions, take the action, but then there's accountability for the results. So there's still some kind of a reporting or weekly meeting or some type of a check-in um, that makes sure that they're held accountable to making the right decisions, to following through and doing the task properly. So if you've delegated with less success than you'd like, Go back and think about which of those four steps you might have missed. Was there not enough training time or documentation to help support the training? Did you not take the time to shadow them and make sure that they understood? Maybe it went a little bit too fast, they were left on their own too soon, or maybe there's been a lack of accountability on an ongoing basis. But I hope that going back and evaluating, building up some systems in some of those key areas can help you as a business owner to get more off of your plate that you don't need to be doing so that you can focus your time in the areas that it's most valuable for your business. Thanks for watching.